वेलकम इन माई सेकेंड क्लास असल एवरीबॉडी टूडे माई टॉपिक इज कॉडरेटिक इक्वेशन द सेकेंड फोर्थ टॉपिक ऑफ क्लास टेंथ आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर ए लेसन ऑफ कॉडरेटिक इक्वेशन वट इज कॉडरेटिक इक्वेशन हाउ टू सॉल्व द कॉडरेटिक पॉलिनाम कॉडरेटिक प्रॉब्लम हाँ एनी इक्वेशन विच इज of the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 a is not equal to 0 where a comma b are coefficients c is constant for example 4x square plus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation in x and this is a quadratic equation in x second 2y square plus 9y plus 6 is equal to 0 is again a quadratic equation in variable y third 3t square plus 5t Plus one is equal to zero is again a quadratic equation in T. So I say a must not equal to zero. It means if B and C are zeros, doesn't matter. A must not equal to zero. Now <coughs> the exercise is exercise five point one. Exercise five point one. We have to say check the following is or the quadratic equations or not. For example, I will show you one example of here. Question number one. Exercise four point one. Question number one. X plus one whole square is equal to. Two into x minus three. We have to say whether this is a quadratic equation or not. Solve how to solve this. This means a plus b whole square. This goes x square plus two a b into one plus one square is equal to two x minus six. So I can say it x square plus two x plus one is equal to two x minus six. This and this goes cancel because like terms on the both sides. So I can say x square plus one is equal to minus six. It means x square plus one plus six is equal to zero, which implies x square plus seven is equal to zero. So I can write this equation: one into x square plus zero into x plus seven is equal to zero. This means is Not equal to zero. A is equal to one. B is equal to zero. And your constant term C is equal to seven. Hence, it is a quadratic equation. Hence, it is a quadratic quadratic equation. The rest of parts, rest of it is parts. Ah, uh, question number one, part second, third. Fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, seventh, seventh, eighth. These are home task. Do these parts by yourself. Now I am going to now the application of the quadratic equation. Why do we use quadratic equation in the day, day to day life? In our day to day life. What is the application of quadratic equation? How we use the quadratic equations in day-to-day -day life? For example, <coughs> I will take an one example here. Question number two. Question number two. Question number two. Part number one. We says that the area of a rectangular plot, the area of a A rectangular plot is five to eight meters square. The length of the plot, the length 
of the plot in meters in meters is one more than is one more than twice it is breadth breadth we need to find the length and breadth of the plot we find the length and breadth of the plot पहले बच्चों ये जो क्वेश्चन है पहले इसको समझने की कोशिश करो यू नो वे आर रेक्टेंगुलर प्लॉट हियर इसका एरिया जो है एरिया जो इसका है वो फाइव टू एट मीटर स्क्वेयर है लेंथ ऑफ द प्लॉट इन मीटर इज वन मोर देन टू आई सीट इज ब्रेडथ अगर इसकी ब्रेडथ एक्स है तो ये जो लेंगथ है वो एक मीटर ज्यादा है टू टाइम्स इट इज ब्रेडथ टू एक्स प्लस वन We need to find the length. What is the length of this plot and breadth of this plot? Let how I solve this problem. Let the breadth of plot, breadth of a rectangular plot, be x meters. Therefore, length. Length will be two x plus one. Sinus area. Is equal to five to eight, but area is equal to length into breadth. Two x plus one into x is equal to five to eight. Try to form a quadratic equation first of all. So I can write. I can write here. I can write two x square plus x. Is equal to five to eight. So I can write two x square plus x minus five to eight is equal to zero by splitting the middle term. Middle term. Two x square plus thirty three x minus thirty two x minus five to eight is equal to zero. How to find this? Multiply the first term and the last term. Two x square into minus five to eight. Here I will show you. Two x square into minus five to eight is equal to plus minus minus. Two eight is our sixteen. Two two is our four five. Two five is our ten. X square minus ten hundred fifty six x square. If you multiply the first term and the last term, break the middle term into two parts. जब सब्ट्रैक्ट और एड ऑफ दो टू पार्ट शुड इक्वल टू द पार्ट इट सेल्फ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट थर्टी टू एक्स फ्रॉम थर्टी थ्री एक्स इट मीन देर इज ए प्लस एक्स सो इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई थर्टी थ्री एक्स इंटू माइनस थर्टी टू एक्स इट मीन्स प्लस माइनस इज माइनस थर्टी थ्री इंटू थर्टी टू इज टेन फिफ्टी सिक्स एक्स एक्स सो आई क्लियर इट I have cleared it to you people. The uh, we have to uh, break the middle term into two parts. Ah, uh, sum or the subtract of the two parts should be the uh, itself, or the product of the two parts should equal to the product of first and the last term. So uh, take common x common out of this. Here two x plus thirty three, and made like this two x plus thirty three. Is equal to zero. What to take two x uh, outside minus sixteen. So minus sixteen into two thirty two x minus plus is minus sixteen into thirty three is five to eight is equal to zero. So I can say you x minus sixteen into two x plus thirty three is equal to zero. Either this is equal to zero or that is equal to zero. I can write here. Either x minus sixteen is equal to zero or two x plus thirty three is equal to zero implies x is equal to sixteen or two x is equal to minus thirty three x is equal to sixteen or x is equal to minus thirty three divided by two, which is not possible.
not possible because breadth cannot can't be negative breadth can't be negative hence breadth of plot breadth of plot is equal to 60 meters therefore length your length is equal to 2x plus 1 so i can say 2 into 16 plus 1 32 plus 1 is equal to 33 meters so length of the plot is equal to 33 meters and breadth of a plot is 16 meters so it means <clears throat> if you find <laughs> if you try to check your answer how length into breadth should equal to 5 to 8 5 to 8 meters square so length into breadth length is 33 and your breadth is 16 16 threes 48 4 is carry 6 is 3 3 is are 48 and 5 2 so it is clear it i cleared it how to check this uh, kind of a question whether your answer is right or wrong uh, finally i find the length of the plot is 33 meters and breadth of a plot is 16 meters if you multiply length into breadth it will uh, it will give you 5 to 8 meters square that is the required area of the uh, rectangular plot okay bye